Hey guys, I'm Ravenbane, and after much careful consideration, I have decided that I'm going to remake many of my old videos due to certain factors such as the terrible audio quality and the poor editing, and hopefully some of this helps me to get the channel off the ground. This video might have been one of the favorites that I've made, so I decided that I would give this one a facelift first and start the channel off fresh. Anyways, I hope you guys like the video, subscribe, and join my Discord server. I promise you, it's a lot of fun, and there's some really cool people in there. Hollow Knight is a game filled to the brim with many strange mysteries and surprising things, and that's one of my favorite parts about the game. There's always something new and interesting to find, even for experienced players. But, I have to admit, when I saw this thing for the first time in the Tower of Love, my mind was blown. I expected some strange and interesting content from this game, but this was far different from anything that we had experienced so far into the game. The Collector is an entity that you find a decent chunk into the game by finding a secret key in a secret biome and taking it to a secret sub-area. It's pretty secret, and that might be one of the reasons that this ended up being such a lore gold mine that helps us to understand all of Hollow Knight's lore even better. Many of you have seen or even beaten the Dream No More endings or either of the God Home endings if you're watching this video. So you have likely both seen and fought a King's Mold, the Guards of the White Palace, the Pale King's home. These King's Molds are armored constructs created by the Pale King himself to guard his palace from any invaders. But even deeper into the White Palace, if we look hard enough and have some serious platforming prowess, we see something very interesting. This is a room called the King's Workshop by many fans of the game. In here, we see some really interesting stuff, ranging from weaver silk, to void stones, to what might be the strangest of all. This is a sort of egg, with some glowing runes on it. By dream nailing this strange egg, we get the dream nail dialogue, serve, and some people wonder what the strange egg is. This is a mold of the king's mold, and the very mold that all of the king's molds came out of. And a few of you might be wondering what relevance this has to the Collector, the topic of this video. Well, it's very likely, almost definite, that the Collector himself is a King's Mold. The Collector is made out of Void, an arcane substance that the Pale King experimented with during his fights against the Radiance. He used this substance to make a variety of things, including the King's Molds and Wings Molds. The Collector is one of the only Void beings that we see in the game, and he shares many similarities with the King's Molds. To start, they both have the same body shape, but the King's Molds have armor, while the King's Mold, or the Collector, is kind of naked, similar to what we see in his original mold. The Collector also has some noticeable finger-like features, while the King's Molds, to our knowledge, do not. The Collector does not just look similar to the Molds, though. He's almost identical to the mold that was used to create them in the first place. All of the molds made by the king were imbued with a purpose, and so likely was the collector. And we're gonna assume that that purpose was to serve, which we get from dream nailing the mold. And the collector has some very similar behavior in the regard of serving. When you dream nail the king's molds in the white palace, you get the lines defend and kill. So the purpose of them serving was to protect and help defend the white palace. While when you dream nail the collector, you get the dialogue, my love, my love, protected at last, a safe space for you and you and you, it must be saved. And from this, it isn't very difficult to assume what this mold's purpose was. This is obviously much more complex dialogue than any of the other molds had, with the King's Mold's dream nail being defend and kill, but it touches on the same premise here, as both seem to be strongly devoted to a particular purpose. This purpose was likely something along the lines of protect or something of the kind, at least as a baseline. The Collector could have also been given much more detailed orders, or some of that may have been 
up to someone else's interpretation. This mold could have executed all of these perfectly by capturing the grubs, or this might have been a different type of twisted thinking by the Void. We do have an idea where some of these different commands came from. Before you meet the Void Collector, you meet another very interesting bug. In the Queen's Gardens, there's a big husk with the Void streaks down his eyes, and he's holding a key that coincidentally leads you to the Tower of Love. Void streaks are a bit of an important and memorable thing throughout Hallownest, as they normally have some gruesome connection to the Void and the lore of this game. The husk we find in the Queen's Gardens was not just some normal bug, and was in fact the actual collector. This man likely was the original owner of the Tower in Love, and the Collector himself, and he died due to his connection to both the Void and the Collector. Now, to avoid confusion from now on, the non-Void Collector, who's dead now, will be named Philip or Phil. Phil is likely the one who is responsible for some of the strange things that we see in the Tower of Love, including the Vitruvian Grub, a very interesting drawing found in the Tower of Love that, as we know of, serves no purpose. He also made the Grub Map, which reveals the location of every grub throughout Hallownest. We can attribute both of these to him, as every void being we see in the game shows no sign of being intelligent or being able to read or write, let alone make a fully fledged map. This also means that he would have scattered, or at least participated in, or spectated, scattering the grubs that are dotted across Hallownest's map. This operation was likely under the discretion and permission of both Lurian the Watcher, an interesting dreamer, as well as the Pale King himself. A few things tip us off to this. In the Watcher's Spire, which is Lurian's residence, we can find a secret little room, which I will call Lurian's office, because we don't really have a name for it. In this room, we get a few last words from Lurian before he heads to sleep eternally. But what the most important element of this room is, is hidden in the background. In the background, we see tablets that look similar to most of the lore tablets scattered across Hallownest. And on it, we see drawings of glass jars identical to those that we see the grubs trapped in, as well as some arrows and an S that looks enough like a grub for me to call it one. Lurian was likely an important player in this operation, and if these plans were in his main quarters, it was likely very important to him. The Pale King was also involved in this operation, as no one else that we know of in Hallownest ever had a Void Construct companion to aid them, and Lurian was one of the King's most avid supporters, and the only being that we know of who had extensive knowledge of the Void and shaped it is the Pale King himself. So whatever experiment they were running was likely sanctioned by the Pale King. The sad part of all this is it might have ended up being a massive failed experiment. Not only did Hallownest end up failing, but the original Collector also ends up dead, and it's at the fault of the Void. When dream mailing the husk of the original Collector, we get the dialogue, Too long. Became as one. Void beings have a history of sapping the life force out of other bugs, and after a time, the two bugs, being the Collector and Phil, essentially became as one, with the Void Collector stealing most of Philip's life force as well as his intellect. Now, how exactly did the Collector become so smart? It's likely due to his bond with Phil. We know that when Philip died, he claims that him and the Collector became so close that they essentially were one person, and... With the Void so close to this bug's brain, it wouldn't be so much of a stretch to assume that the Collector ended up sucking up some of the personality and other traits that were a part of the Collector. Uh, pair this with the fact that Philip trained the Collector as a sort of apprentice or helper, and we have a very strong reason for why the Collector was so intelligent and able to think so much differently than all of the other King's Molds. Uh, if you want any other further proof to back up him stealing parts of the original Collector, it's also why the Collector has a voice when many other Void Beings have no voice at all. The strange creepy noises that we hear echoing around the Tower of Love was likely an imitation of Philip's original voice, which was stolen by the Collector. Why was Philip so obsessed with the grubs in the first place, and 
what was the meaning of the Vitruvian Grub and all of this strange stuff in the tower? Part of this is because of the Pale King's plans to contain the Radiance and stop the infection from ravaging throughout the Kingdom of Halonest, and he thought that the Grubs could be very helpful to containing this. A few theories have been that Grubs are baby moths and that he was trying to stop them from becoming mini Radiances. But this is highly unlikely, as the Pale King would have wiped them out instead of hiding them for explorers to find. We know Team Cherry is evil, and they are easily able to do something like this, so this theory is highly unlikely. Though, the reason is probably related to the holy powers that Grubs possess. The Grubs did seem to have a natural resistance to the infection, so maybe he was using them to make a vaccine of sorts. But that also seems unlikely, as when we visit the Grub Father, all of the eggs that contain grubs are full at the end. I think the reason that the Pale King was so interested in these buggers was because of the holy power they possessed, and he knew it could either be helpful or dangerous depending on what side they were on. I think these bugs do have the potential to be incredibly powerful, and their random locations and grub drawings seem to be somewhat ritualistic. So maybe they hoped to activate something that helped them combat the Radiance. Whatever the purpose, it seemed to have not worked out in the end. The Collector is an incredibly fascinating part of this game's lore, and hopefully today you learned a lot more about him. Please remember to subscribe and join my Discord server, and if I missed anything, make sure to put it in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Uh, I'm Ravenbane. Have a nice day.